Hello everyone, here's just another short update on the Ariane 5 VA241 launch situation. Yesterday we already knew that there was some anomaly and that contact with the rocket had been lost, but the rocket itself seemed to operate normally. It flew automated and just stopped sending any data or the communications to the rocket broke off. And now we know more about the detailed cause of events, although the investigation is still not fully closed. Now the good news is, contact with the satellites has been established. The satellites have both been released from the Ariane 5. They are in a stable orbit and while they are somewhat, say, disadvantaged by the overall anomaly, they will still go into a uh, useful operation. Now it's hard to tell which way round to best explain this, but I'll start with the actual cause of events. So what happened was that the Ariane 5 veered off course during the launch. We don't know exactly what caused that, but since the telemetry data itself seemed fine, it seems to be a navigational issue, since the rocket sent back data which indicated that it was on course. We have to assume that the navigation system on board the rocket was simply wrong because so far investigation implies that the rocket was not perfectly on course even right after the launch. So the cause is to be expected within the navigation system and further investigation will be done into this like with any anomaly or failure in spaceflight or aviation. The investigation will go much deeper than just determining the current situation of the payload. Of course, we want to find out more about what exactly was the root cause behind the anomaly so that in the future that knowledge can be used to correct such problems and to increase the reliability of the rocket system Ariane 5, which is basically done with any rocket type. If it fails, you find out why it failed and you use that knowledge to increase its reliability in the future. So while we still don't know the exact root cause behind this problem, we can still expect to learn again more about this. What happened next was that the uh, Ariane 5 uh, reared off course and had a too high inclination of more than 20 degrees rather than the closer to zero degrees which was scheduled which is usual for a geostationary transfer orbit because geostationary orbit of course is usually uh, equatorial and no one really noticed that issue until the Ariane 5 went out of communications range. Now the actual loss of communication doesn't seem to be an issue with the communication system itself, but rather just a result of that navigation issue. The Ariane 5 lost communications when it uh, went out of range of the launch site itself. And since it had reared off course, it didn't get into range of the tracking station that was planned to take over after the Ariane 5 left the range of the launch site, because it had simply headed into the wrong direction. It then followed every other step of the flight just as scheduled, and it did release the satellites in a stable orbit that is relatively close or similar to the intended orbit. Now its inclination is wrong and that is a big problem. Apart from that the orbit seems alright. It is a tiny bit lower than the intended orbit but that is probably simply a result of the wrong inclination. So the main problem here is the inclination and simply as a mathematical result of that the apogee and perigee is also a little bit lower because, as we all know, the Earth spins eastwards, so if you launch a rocket exactly eastwards, you basically use that motion that it already had at launch, and thus can get into an orbit more fuel efficient, while if, for example, you launch westwards, you first have to burn a lot of fuel just to get to a still stand, and then still have to insert yourself into that westward orbit and circularize this, same if you go northwards, if you go uh, northwards or polar orbit, you will have to go all the way to orbit without using any inertia you already have. This is of course all a gradual change and so if a rocket is scheduled to fly exactly or almost exactly eastwards into an equatorial geostationary orbit and the rocket launches with the wrong inclination, and does every other step exactly as planned, it will end up in an orbit with a tiny bit low apogee and perigee because it just doesn't have that little extra bit of speed that it would have gained by 
using the Earth's rotation exactly aligned with its launch inclination. So there is currently no indication that anything else went wrong other than launching into the wrong inclination, everything else went by plan. And that itself isn't really the big problem. You can raise the orbit, its uh, perigee and apogee are still relatively close to where they were planned to be, and this orbit raising isn't too fuel intensive, and it's still a stable orbit, so the satellite isn't just going to re-enter the atmosphere. But the plane change, or the change in inclination that is needed to bring the satellites into operation is kind of fuel intensive and will take a little time as well. So the op satellites will go into operation a bit later and with slightly reduced fuel reserves, which is of course a bit annoying, but it's not a complete failure. It is of course somewhat questionable how something like this could have happened this early into the flight without some correction mechanism kicking in or someone noticing that something was off. But apart from that, we don't know exactly what caused the problem and apart from implementing an additional failsafe, the way to go forward is now to look further into this, analyze the system, analyze whatever data we can still retrieve from this Ariane 5 and what we know about this Ariane 5's launch campaign and try to find out what exactly caused this. So that's it with Ariane 5 updates for today. As for other spaceflight news, there isn't that much. The Falcon Heavy is still doing well on its way to an eventual launch in the late first week of February or early second week of February. We don't know exactly yet, but around that time. But hasn't reached any other milestones yet since the test launch. The uh, recent spacewalk to replace a canard arm and manipulator, basically the hand of the robotic arm of the International Space Station, actually turned up with a little issue that the replaced new hand is also having some issues, although more detailed and further news on that will come later. Now, I usually prefer talking about spaceflight in terms of theory and understanding the physics behind it rather than just news, but since I also like reporting on news and there is currently a lot happening, I just had to make this short update. I'll try to make another uh, more physics and theory based video today as well, but can't really promise given my own schedule and the fact that there will probably be news updates again as soon as tomorrow. I'll try to keep you up to date all the way to the Falcon Heavy launch. If you have any questions regarding the general topic of spaceflight, be it in terms of current events or in terms of physics and theory, I'm always open for questions. I'll try to find the time to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.